our commencement speaker, FE Chair, Sir Aurelio Gigi Montenal III, University officials headed by President Dr. Michael Alba, dear professors, families, parents, and of course, to the FE graduates of Batch 2017, a pleasant morning. First, I would like to extend my congratulations to all of the hardworking students who have made it to this special day. When we started our college journey, I bet we planted seeds of hope that one day we would eventually complete our degrees. Now, those little seeds have grown into fruitful trees. We are now reaping the fruits of our labor. At last, we don't have to worry of exams and quizzes, class lectures, case studies, thesis defense are over. We celebrate this milestone, but we also have to anticipate new life lessons. Life outside of school has more lessons to teach us. This is the real test that we need to pass and not to fail. I started from the bottom. I don't consider myself as extraordinary, both in class and in chess. When I was 14, I transferred to FE de Leman and ventured in my dream. At that time, I was with teammates who are far stronger than me. In the eyes of many, I was nobody. As a matter of fact, when I first applied as a chess varsity, the head coach rejected me. Thankfully, with some twist of events, he had a change of heart and I was reconsidered. Some people told me I could never be a grand master because according to them, I lacked the talent and I started fairly late. Despite the discouraging words, I did not waver in pursuing my dream. The 13th World Chess Champion, if you know him, is the legendary Gary Kasparov. He said, don't you know that hard work is a talent? His statement has inspired me to work very hard. So I guess that also makes me talented. To improve my performance, I dedicated six to eight hours a day of training. But then, my progress in chess caused a decline in my grades. That was a wake-up call, because I wanted to be great in chess and be a college graduate at the same time. So I promised to do better both in class and in chess. Now, I feel so blessed to have fulfilled that promise. After six years of laborious trainings, I have made history by becoming the first Filipina Grandmaster in Chess. And there's even a bonus. I graduated cum laude. Chess has taught me the discipline to focus, create better decisions, and develop my passion for reading. I have become so strong-willed. I don't see my past experiences, such as my initial rejection as a chess varsity and my poor grades in high school as failures. I see those as challenges, challenges that I have to overcome. Some people say, Life is a race. Life is a struggle. Life is a war. And for me, life is a chess game. In chess, the main goal is to defend and conquer the king. In the process, no matter how you think you have made the best plans, craftily positioned the pieces, you cannot always win. I have never encountered a player who in his entire career never lost a game or never made blunders. Just like in real life, nobody's perfect, right? We commit mistakes because we're just humans. Yes, 
Some mistakes may cause us the entire game. It may put us into seemingly hopeless positions and hurt our chances for success. But let not those mistakes define who you are. As long as, as long as you're alive, as long as we're breathing, as long as you're breathing, keep on fighting. Give your best moves and never say, I resign. Every piece in chess serves its purpose. So are we. Each one of us has our own worth. You cannot compare a rook to a pawn or a pawn to a queen because each possesses unique strengths and weaknesses. Be glad about who you are and make the most out of it. Remember that we all have our own potentials waiting to be realized. Again in chess, the queen is the most powerful piece. But even if she's the strongest, she loses all of her powers if she fails to protect the king. The king is the most vulnerable, yet the most important piece of the game. If the king dies, you lose. Checkmate. But who or what is your king in life? Ladies and gentlemen, I have realized that real success lies in knowing why on earth we're here. It's not about fame, wealth, or achievements. It's about fulfilling your life's purpose, knowing your advocacies, and living a legacy. Personally, I would like to formalize chess education in the country and lobby the implementation of the long overdue 2009 DepEd Memorandum Circular instructing the inclusion of chess in the basic education curriculum. I believe that no matter how old or young we are, we can make a difference. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to recognize significant people behind our success. But first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you to our dear Lord for giving us the strength to overcome our struggles. To our families and parents, thank you for your lifelong sacrifices which have given us the inspiration <laughs> to continue in chasing our dreams. To my parents, my mom and dad, I want to make this day one of your happiest. To all the professors, thank you for dedicating your lives on teaching not just technical knowledge, but genuine love and concern to us students. To FEU, I am forever grateful to this university for providing us quality education and molding our characters to ultimately become productive Filipino citizens. I am a proud Tamarau and will always be. <laughs> to our classmates and friends, thank you for all our bittersweet memories. Through time, memories may fade, but true friendships last for a lifetime. To my FEU Athletics Department family, my sincerest thanks for generously supporting my stint as a student athlete. Last but not the least, to my coach, Grandmaster Jason, it is an irony that the man who first rejected me became my committed mentor. Thank you, coach, for always encouraging me to be at my best. <clears throat> to end this, I want you to Realize that in every chess game, there's always a time limit. Again, just like in real life, we don't have the luxury to live forever. Every hour, every minute, every second counts. So we must use our time wisely and make the right moves. We may win, lose, or draw out of the game, but never cease from learning. The real checkmate is when you give up and let yourself accept that you're a loser. As long as we live, there will always be next games, next opportunities, and next chances. Seize them, and I hope we all become champions on and off the chessboard. 
Maraming salamat po.